Hey YouTube, Mickey. Um, just want to do a vid. I'm just uh, I want to talk about big knife versus small knife, and I guess um, you know what tools do you carry on your on your person when you're out in the bush? And you know what is the best option? I mean, we all know a big knife. Is good for chopping and batoning and blah blah blah. Small knife is good for feather sticking. Well, sorry, I'll rephrase that. A big knife is good for feather sticking, but a small knife is good for bushcraft, notching, um, just as finer tasks. And I prefer a smaller knife for feather sticking than a larger knife and it gets a bit confusing on what knives you carry on your person now I'm talking about on your person to do the tasks you want out in the bush now you want a larger knife so you can chop so you can baton and you want a full tang knife you know you want a full tang knife where you can baton and chop and do those harder tasks but you also need a smaller knife and this is my own preference guys I'm not I'm not a teacher I'm not teaching shit I'm just saying what I think but you need a smaller knife where you know you take it out it's comfy in your hand it's small enough to do feather sticking to do notching to cut your steak or your meat when you're eating um, you know just a nice knife to do little fine tasks you know you just need that smaller knife and then you need your larger knife to you know do your your chopping to do your heavier tasks to do your batoning you know where it's full tang and you know you you guys know what I mean. You, you're you're on your all you're on, you're on YouTube. You know what you're doing. You know what I'm talking about. So it's you know it's just a a fine line between what knives, or what tools do you carry? You know, yes, I can carry a tomahawk with me, but is it going to weigh me down? Yeah, it is. It's going to weigh me down, but what will it do for me? Well, it will chop wood it'll process wood, it'll do whatever I need. Do I carry a fold out saw with me every time I go to the bush on my person? Well yeah, it doesn't weigh nothing. I can put that in my cargo pocket and um, you know process wood with that. So you know what tools are right for you? Well at the moment for me the tomahawk <coughs> is a great tool process a lot of wood with this thing and it is a great great tool but if I'm walking around scouting or whatever it might be a bit heavy for me and it is it is it is pretty heavy my fold out saw it's light it, it's light as yes that can slide into my pocket and I can carry that for backup so yes I will take that with me my lightweight bushcraft oops sorry my lightweight lightweight bushcraft knife sharp as good for feather sticking good for just notching good for carving good for cutting my steak good for a lot of reasons it is a great knife it is a great great knife and Yes, for little kindling, you know, little sticks and, and batoning, it'll do the job. It ain't a full tang. I don't care what people say, a Buck 192 or a Buck Vanguard is not a full tang. It's a rat tail, okay, and that's all it is. And it's good for batoning, little kindling, okay, not chopping big chunks of wood. But it's great for feather sticking great for notching, 
great for fine work, great for skinning. Grab it up there and skin game. It's a great little knife to have on you. I want to say little, it's a four inch knife. Um, it's a great knife to have with you as probably your most primary knife that you're going to carry in regards to most of the tasks you're going to do. And it will show, it will, it will spark a fire still beautifully. Yes, I've had to modify it. I've had to grind the back of the spine to make it more of a 90 degree angle, but um, it will spark an unbelievable spark from your ferro rod. And um, this is just a cheap shit ferro rod. It's not like my fire. It's nothing like that. It's just a cheapy, but it does a great job. Alright, so. I'm going to test out for the next few months what tools I'm going to carry when I'm at bush. This is going to be one of them. This is going to be my primary knife in regards to processing game if I have the need. Feather sticking, notching, making traps if I have the need, cutting my steak when I'm around camp, you know, just eating, and instead of, you know, carrying a, a a steak knife, this thing comes out, cuts my steak, it will process my onions, my tomatoes, whatever food prepping comes into play. This will be my primary knife. My secondary knife is going to be the Kisla Grillius in regards to batoning and chopping and other bush tasks. And um, I'm going to trial these two options to see how I go. And the next option is my saw being a buck, a buck saw. And I know everyone talks about the, uh, what's that friggin' saw called? The uh, Lapo Bucko Laplander. Yeah, great saw. Never had one, but for what I've seen, great saw. Well, I'm telling you, this is another great saw. The buck. Does me well and uh, is a great little saw. So they're probably my three preferred tools out in the bush. Um, an axe. <coughs> I want an axe. I, I, I would really prefer an axe on my person, but that's starting to weigh me down. And a tomahawk is going to be a lot lighter than your Gransford Brooks axes. Now, Gransford Brooks axes are the cooter. They're the shit. They're going to do a lot more things than a tomahawk can. But my tomahawk is capable of doing a lot, a lot of tasks. So, do I carry these three pieces and a tomahawk on my person? No, I won't. I will probably carry my tomahawk on my backpack, or my have a sack, or whatever bag I have. This will be separate to my on my person carry. These three items here would be on my person. As I said, this weighs nothing. They can go in my cargo pocket. This, yeah, is half a kilo of weight, but I have my shoulder strap system where I can, you know, cater for that, or I can get my pistol belt and put it on my pistol belt. And this, this weighs nothing. It just weighs jack shit, to be honest. And, um, yeah, this would be my primary kind of, you know, bush EDC knife. And then when the heavy tasks come, this would be it, and that would be it. So, that's on my person tools. Besides this would be a Leatherman, obviously. Um, being the Leatherman Sidekick, the Leatherman Wave, the Leatherman Charge, Whatever you choose, I always choose Leatherman. Doesn't matter what model it is, I just choose a Leatherman multi tool as long as I've got the pliers. That's what I choose. And um, my Leatherman at the moment is in my day hike bag. So yeah, so um, I'll, I'll grab a Leatherman. <coughs> That's my Leatherman sidekick right there. You know, if I need pliers. Bang, boom, it's there. 
I need it all, it's there. I need a saw, it's there. Um, it's just, you know, I need a knife, it's there. But uh, with me, a multi tool, the main purpose of a multi tool basically is the pliers and the awl. Um, I've got my cutting blade, I've got my chopper, and I've got my saw. So if I can find the multi tool with good set of pliers and a nice awl, for me that's pretty much all I need. And scissors is a bonus. Um, and for me, scissors are, you know, they're pretty important. It's just, it's easier to cut stuff, you know, if you have to manicure yourself, um, you're not going to do it with a knife, you're going to do it with scissors, so, um, actually this is the Leatherman Wingman, not the uh, Sidekick, so, just my take on what tools, I guess, I am considering on taking on my person, um, you know, again, a multi-tool, a fold-out saw, a full tang, seven inch to seven and a half inch chopping kind of um, all all round blade, and then my kind of bushcraft blade. And um, to be honest, in my experience, I've used a bushcraft blade more than a, a chopper, just simply because I use the fire to uh, cut wooden half if it's thick enough. Just leave it on the fire, let the fire do its work for you, and cut that branch in half, and just grab it, snap it off. No need, no need to waste calories on that. And yes, the tomahawk has come into play many times. But what I'm trying to get through to you guys, I guess, is what blades, what tools I want to take on my person at all times. And uh, I know I'm repeating myself, but... It's got to be this, it's got to be that, and it's got to be this. Guaranteed. Number three items, number three tools, it's got to be on a person at all times. And this, a multi-tool. So you've got four, four tools on your person at all times. An axe is obviously optional. An axe, if you have it in your backpack, great idea. You're not going to be too far away from your backpack. But if you were... I would prefer these four tools to be on my person at all times because I know this can do what this can but at a lower level. It's going to be harder to chop wood with this than what this can do but I know this can do it but it's just going to be a little bit harder. A saw, we all know what a saw does. It's going to do an easier task on thinner pieces of wood than what this can. You know, this is going to be better on thicker pieces of wood than what this can do because of the length of the blade. If I had a longer saw, no worries. It would probably replace this. But I'm just trying to work out what tool suits me out in the bush. And this is not a how-to or what you should carry a video. It's not anything at all like that. It's what I'm trying to work out myself and what tools I think I should bring out in the bush. Not what I think you should bring out, it's what I think I'm trying to find out what I should bring out, if that makes friggin' sense. It probably doesn't, but anyway. I'm just trying to find what tools work for me, and so far, right now, at this moment, these four tools kind of work out for me um, in my mindset right now. This is an option on my backpack. Um, I would not depend on the Leatherman Sidekick or Wingman. I would depend more on the Leatherman Wave or the Leatherman Supercharge or whatever they freaking call them. Um, I would not depend on this at all in the bush. It was just a merely example. So, let me know your thoughts, peoples. Um, yeah, um, again, I, I prefer this blade as a kind of EDC bushcraft feather sticking notching blade because the edge profile is a lot thinner 
than what this is and it does feather stick a lot better than what this would and feather sticking in my eyes is a very important um, thing to do in the bush um, and you want that you want that small blade where you feel comfortable you can just grab it in your hand and put your thumb up there and really just get in there and do fine tasks again it can be a skinner if you grab it right blah 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 it's got my fire still on there so I can make a fire so anyway I'm gonna shut up that's my thoughts let me know what you think cheers